Yeah, welcome to today's uh, little movie, which will be uh, surprisingly enough um, about lenses. Uh, and I'm uh, not going to talk about um, these darlings. I will do that maybe in a, a later date. This is a Canon B4 television lens, professional quality television lens. Absolutely fantastic results, obviously, for me on my Micro Four Thirds system. Uh, similar in size to another Canon I really like lately, um, which is my favorite tool for um, um, hunting birds down. Yeah, and, uh, not shooting them down, but shooting pictures of them. Uh, a little bit modified so that I can, with a flick of a finger, change um, the aperture if I want to. Not uh, very nice, but very useful. This little modification, the lens is very nice and very useful. Also, not about the Olympus today, um, which I just have here for um, maybe size comparison. Um, but it's going to be about the Chinon, um, and this is uh, an auto Chinon, um, 55mm f1.7, lovely lens, completely made out of metal, um, with only the addition of one rubber band here for the um, focus ring. And this focus ring is absolutely uh, lovely as well. So it works very nicely, very smooth, I think you can hear next to nothing, silky smooth, very very nice. Um, and um, you can see it's an f1.7, yeah, it goes up to f16. Uh, and uh, I use it obviously in manual, you can switch it to auto, should your camera support this function on this lens that comes with M. 42 and this lens has um, some small cosmetic um, issues one of them is that something bashed into the lens as you can see here yeah uh, in its long life which is presumably 30 40 years um, but it does not affect um, at all the capability of this lens to um, you know the threats function is not not compromised at all you can you know put a filter in and protect your lens um, the, the surface of the glass itself is in very good condition, Yeah, very good nick here. Um, it's got some sort of delamination going on at the very edges. I don't know if you can see that, Yeah, just about now. Yeah, yeah I, can, I can see it, I hope you can see it on the computer. You can see around the edges of the lens some sort of delamination in the, um, in the coating of the lens. But um, I haven't seen, well, I haven't seen that this has really any impact on the function of this lens. It takes lovely pictures. Um, and the rest of the lens, cosmetically, very nice, functionally, very nice, anyway. Um, and, you know, this silk smooth focus. Now, what sets this lens apart a little bit from um, other lenses in the same region? F1.7, you know, F55 millimeters. Obviously, they're very, very fast lenses, so you can use them in low light, or you can stop them down a bit, and um, um, you, you, you can uh, make them ultra sharp. Is, is the color rendition. So this lens, um, which is made in Japan obviously, has an amazing color rendition. I think this is the reason why people um, like Chinon lenses in, in general and this, this lens in particular. And I can show you some pictures throughout this um, video to, to show um, how good that really looks. Maybe now I cut it in. And I'm really blown away by this. Um, apart from this, it's a nice lens, wide open, f1.7, obviously a bit soft, like uh, you know all lenses are. I say that, all lenses, not all lenses are uh, a bit soft, wide open. If you look, for instance, at this Canon, it is an f4, yeah, but this is designed to be shot wide open, yeah, I, I cannot see a difference between this lens uh, being shot wide open or at 5.6 or 8. If I put that on a tripod, yes, I can see a difference, but because you use it handheld for birds, the advantage of being slightly faster at f4, or tremendously faster at f4, gives you that extra sharpness. With the chin on, like with most uh, 55mm or 50mm lenses in that region, um, it's, it's a bit softer when it's wide open, but it sharpens up very nicely and is ultra sharp at 55mm. Um,
and um, I'll show you some shots on my uh, paper target that has imperfections and you can see all these imperfections because it's just a printed paper target um, on the pictures and um, the lovely color rendition of this lens yeah just to compare it to an Olympus lens in this case yeah you can see the Olympus lens as, as I think I've shown in the first video is slightly smaller it's not slightly it's, it's quite a bit smaller actually although it's an f1.4 yeah that's the advantage of these Olympus lenses they are smaller they have um, other slight drawbacks uh, for instance that you need to press this button all the time to get the function of the manual um, of the manual aperture uh, you don't have to do that with the um, chinon that is always on manual and you just um, change you know, the blades and they move very smoothly with a you know decisive click obviously once you set this to manual they do this yeah in the auto mode they don't and there you can see how they move in and you can see the blades they're in perfect condition with this lens yeah no oil on them or anything look absolutely uh, amazing and this lens has you know what you expect from f1.7 also very nice bouquet when it's wide open yeah so watch out this was the um, auto chin on um, 55 millimeter f1.7 which to me has um, a beautiful color rendition which sets it apart from most of the other lenses in this uh, range yeah gives it that lovely um, tone